Hello and welcome to an exclusive showcase version of the Food Manifesto, a programme from the College of Medicine and ITM Productions. The College of Medicine has always advocated a healthy lifestyle above taking tablets and offers dietary alongside medical advice. I think uh, COVID has taught us that we need to be more resilient, we need to be more protected um, and lifestyle is very much uh, involved both in producing a good immune system, but also, you know, things like weight, which we know has been a big issue. It's also about us being, having become sugar addicts, you know, in our diets. Therefore, it's about how we change that diet and how we improve our uh, intake of fruit and vegetables. GPs are often too busy to give advice on nutrition, but a campaign is underway to make more use of the free advice available at local health food stores. I think people want to feel listened to and they want to kind of tell their story and um, to talk about specific issues that maybe they, they can't talk about with their GP because they've only got a very small amount of time with them. The College of Medicine was one of the first organisations to advocate social prescribing where patients are encouraged to manage their own health away from traditional prescriptive medicine and adopt a more holistic approach. When we uh, go into social prescribing, which is uh, when a link worker helps someone to get to the place they want to be, we measure something called the Patient Activation Index. It's about how much you're in power over your own destiny. Companies like Tate and Lyle invest millions of pounds every year into improving the nutritional quality of our food. Fiber consumption as a tool to modify your gut health is really important and that's why we are investing in technologies such as gut models, metabolomics, to understand the composition of the gut microbiota, to have understanding of its diversity and how fibers can modify that in the first place to remain in the healthier position throughout the life course. Tate and Lyle's Global Nutrition Center is aimed at establishing evidence-based nutritional science that's accessible to everyone from businesses to consumers. Evidence-based nutritional information is also the purpose of the Nutrition Society. Their open access approach means all of their studies and findings are made available to the public via their journals the most recent of which is the gut microbiome, which highlights its importance to our overall health. We've all got billions of bacteria living inside us. And these bacteria, they're actually producing different things. So whatever foods we actually eat, the bacteria then get to break down the end products of those foods. A positive bacterial response and a healthy microbiome depends on the essential presence of fibre. Really, the, how the bacteria flourish is from the, the fibre, so the, the non-digestible carbohydrate in our diet, which obviously avoids digestion in the upper GI tract, but once it gets further down the gut, where we have this, these billions of bacteria that Gemma discussed, these are able to ferment this fibre and it produces the energy for the bacteria to flourish. Some health experts think there are other reasons besides bad habits for our struggle to eat well. There's much less nutrition in the food we eat these days for all sorts of reasons. You know, our soil's minerally depleted and we add chemicals to our food, um, we add colourings to our foods and things that interfere in the way that the gut absorbs nutrients. In the 1930s we invented the fridge and we stopped eating fermented foods. And fermented foods are, alongside probiotics, are one of the things that increase the the diversity in the gut flora. And when the gut flora is diverse, then we absorb the nutrients from our food. It becomes more bioavailable to us. Aquasource products are made from a nutrient-dense blue-green algae, which the company says is more easily absorbed than other traditional supplements. The future of supplement companies is really quite obvious. You know, if we don't improve our agricultural practices, if we continue to erode the soil, we're going to need these high quality supplements more than ever. It's about creating a better world, but the, the essential bit of that is connection. Connection with ourselves, connection with the community and looking after each other a bit better. Thanks for joining me for this exclusive showcase version of the Food Manifesto. The full programme is available to view on the College of Medicine website. From all of us here, thank you for watching. Goodbye.